how could they? With an undeniable trot, the 2005 Ford Mustang Convertible continues to shake up pony car groupies and even wrangle a herd of new onlookers along the way. The trusty steed already proved its namesake when its coupe version made a wildly winning intro last year. But this new soft top is ready for its proper strut around the ring. And it deserves it. Unlike coupe-derived convertibles of the past, the new Mustang was designed from the ground up as a soft top at the same time as the coupe. That translates into a rigid body structure without too much added weight, about 120 pounds. So the body twist and cowl shake so common in affordable convertibles is for the most part left in the barn. Careful engineering like a beefed up front chassis brace and a new one at the rear and thicker steel for the rocker panels results in a topless platform with twice the torsional stiffness than previously. Plus the automatic top seals better. All points that make it the quietest convertible Mustang ever. Now for some deja vu. Like the 2005 Coupe, the suspensions are all new. Up front, straightforward McPherson struts. And to placate old school Mustang fans, rather than an independent rear, Ford designed a new three-link solid axle. The four-wheel discs are the biggest standard brakes ever fitted to the Mustang. They're linked to optional ABS and traction control. Still at 134 feet, stops were a tad long if very stable. Covering the skids are 16-inch wheels to start with 17-inchers on our GT. Herding this pony home is either a 4-liter single-cam V6 borrowed from the Explorer that puts out 210 horsepower and 240 pound-feet of torque, or our GT's 4.6-liter single-cam better-breathing all-aluminum V8 with a healthy 300 horsepower and 320 pound-feet of torque and the V8 exhales through a two and a half inch stainless steel dual exhaust. Transmission choices remain a standard five-speed Tremec manual or optional five-speed automatic. Together, the engine and manual tranny provided great effort off the line and what follows is a terrific mix of power and traction. Shifts are short and firm and the clutch is fairly light for harnessing all that power. Thundering through our runs, the GT took the 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds, only a half second off the coupe, with the quarter mile at just 14 seconds and 102 miles per hour. Turn ins are very quick for a rag top as it lightly pushes through the quarters with ease, but ride it too hard and you may be greeted with the rear quarters, but quick. Overall, the new chassis feels tight and solid, it responds far better than the previous car and is a welcome and praised evolution of America's pony car. And pardon our candor, but with all its brains, the new Mustang is still a purebred beauty. The top torn Stang wears a cohesive integrated look that gives praise to its tandem build. No trace of a chop job, just a true drop top with the coupe's legendary looks. It wears an aggressive wide mouth grill, fish grills around the lights, sea scoops in the doors, and timeless appeal. At the rear, the tail's classic badging and tri-bar lights are tribute to the Mustang Masters circa 1965. To get inside the fabric top, power down the electrically operated roof and the insulated cloth folds neatly to reveal full quarter windows. There are also modest size C-pillars and a full glass backlight. What's left is an open air view of the new Mustang's well-equipped interior. And while the twin hooded dash, three spoke wheel and gauges are clearly retro, Ford threw in a modern my color option, which allows you to change the gauge backlighting color to one of 125 hues. The seats are supportive yet classically molded. Familiar Ford controls for climate and music are easy to reach and operate. As with all Mustangs, the rear seat remains somewhat tight, but the convertible does add 1.3 inches of headroom over the coupe and does split and fold. Trunk space is modest at just 9.7 cubic feet. What's also fairly modest is the price. For all its new mechanics, classic body, rip top, and timeless charm, the 2005 Mustang Convertible V6 carries a base price of only $24,565 or $30,065 for our V8 convertible GT. So there's no sticker shock for this open back buggy, and we think the 2005 Ford Mustang convertible will be stampeded with open bank books of those original baby boomers looking for their youth 
or wannabe rebels trying to savor it. Either way, we think they'll find it galloping in this open-air icon.